Are you saying that I can have everything I want? No, I don't believe it for one second. Are you saying I can have everything I want? Hey, Mary, this guy on this Logan Tyler Nelson show, he says I can get anything I want. Are you saying that I can get everything I want? Because I don't want to be Thor anymore. I was thinking about going out for Spider-Man. Well, 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 Mr. Nelson, our show celebrity, please show us how exactly we get what we want. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching an episode of the Logan Tyler Nelson Show, where in this video I'll be bringing you sexy back. No, I'm just joking. I don't know how to be sexy. I'm really not into that. Obviously, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> no, what I'll be bringing you though is how to make your wants come true and to actually have everything you want. This is what this video is about. So, first things first, list out your wants. You've got to list them out. You've got to list them out because listing them out, there's a little thing that happens. Is you start thinking within thinking within thinking. It's kind of like that movie Inception where, like, you have a dream within a dream within a dream. Writing is just like the Inception, a dream within a dream, but... Writing really gets you focused on what you want. So, like, if you simply write out, like, my one of my wants is that I will have a platform of people that I can speak to and bring value to every single day. I want to hit a million subscribers by 2018. I wrote that down. And something that I really realized that that's a lot, you know, holy cow, that's a lot. And then I realized something else when I wrote it down is no, all I really want is I want, I want, I want to start small, you know, start something small. I really just want a thousand true fans. I want a thousand people to, that, that have a change in their life occur just because I was there for them. That's all I really want. It's not about a million people. That'd be great. If I touch one person, that may touch that one person. And touch another person. And then touch another person. And then touch another person. And then touch, another person, and then touch maybe that one person that I touched starts a trickle effect that touches a million people. That's great. But I wrote it down. I got it out of my head. And now it's out in the universe. I have a little story quick I'll take I'll take like two minutes of your time I'll tell you this story one time I lost my wallet right and there was two hundred and forty six dollars I know right two hundred and forty six dollars I was stupid I didn't I didn't take out that money I left it in that wallet I was gonna deposit it later fell out of my pocket at a vending machine that I was at and I knew right away when I got home where I where it fell out I remember going back to that location and going, well, I don't see it. I don't see it. I could not find my wallet. So I went back home, and I remember journaling that day that one of the things I wanted to do was just to believe in the goodness of people, believe in faith, and fear less, trust more, that someone would return my wallet and that even if I didn't have all the money in it and it was just my ID and my license and my passport and all those vital things that are important to a person that take forever to replace, all I wanted were, were those things back, right? And sure enough, like two days later, I get a call from the police station saying that they had my wallet. And I believe to this day, I really believe to this day, that it was because I wrote it down. Writing it down just makes it amazingly clear. I cannot stress that enough. 
It just makes it clear. And when you have something that's clear and you put it out, it's easy to refer back to. So when things get crazy and there's all these other things that are coming to your life and there's new stimuli and there's new people that come into your life that throw off your, your trajectory of your, of your wants, you can go back to that list of wants and go, okay, I, all right, I, I wanted to be financially independent. I want to be not only financially independent, but I want to be financially independent by, by March 2017. You know, set a date, get specific, even more specific. I want to get financially independent by March 7, 2017 by having a job at a restaurant where I only have to work like two to three days to support my lifestyle. So I can do these side projects for art and stuff like that and create still. Maybe your next want is, I want to stop lying to people, stuff like that. I, I want I want to start binge eating less. I want to, I just want to fall in love by 2018. Fall in love with a person. And not only do I want to fall in love with them, but I want them to constantly keep me interested. I don't want to be in love with the chase of finding a, 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 a mate or a significant other. But I want to find somebody that makes me a better person. That makes me not only a better person, but allows me to make them a better person. Where we push each other. I want that. So these wants are great to write down. They hold value. Once you write down your want, it's it's out into the universe. It's out there. It's out there and you can grab it and get it. I promise you. You just got to say your want and you got to take action. And yes, this is advice that a lot of people I'm sure give you. But you got to remind yourself and you got to keep watching this stuff every single day. You got to inspire yourself every day. You got to recheck your wants every day and make a habit of that. Make a habit of looking at your wants and moving on. So how could I make my day better, Logan? How can I actually take action on my first want? And that is to break it down into the smallest step possible. Make it Make it so easy that you can't fail. So, let's say your want is you want to write a book. You want to write a book about how it is to live your life. How it's how it is when you lose somebody and you gotta keep going. How how to just be a better human being. Just write for five minutes. Make it stupid simple. Take the first step and, and write for five minutes. Okay, maybe every want isn't something that you can do every single day, and that's okay too. Because there is a huge, huge value in binge wanting, where you write down a bunch of wants, and they're huge, gargantuan wants. Like, I have one want that I have on my list that's, by the age of 30, I want to be making seven figures profit. Which means, I'm going to make a million dollars, right? I can't be making money every day. But every single day, I can be looking at that want and having it in my back of my mind so it's in my subconscious. So whenever there's an opportunity to make some sort of value on someone's life, I know now, I, I know now that I need to jump on that ride because I'm I'm about to invest myself and make someone else's life more valuable. And so with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys find your own wants. Write them down. Please write them down. And please find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And let me know what you think. You guys are enough. Never forget it. Thank you.